went to uh, this weekend. I was in Canada with Carly. Mm-hmm. And we went to J Town, <laughs> which What's is that? kind of what it sounds like uh, if you know me and Carly. And uh, it's like uh, Japanese dollar stores and stuff. That sounds and, amazing. <laughs> yeah, and um, and uh, and I got. I also have to I, pee really bad. I got durian flavored potato chips. Why did you do that? Do they smell extremely bad? I haven't opened them yet. <laughs> Is that where you found the super spicy chips? Yes, that is I where want, I found the super spicy I chips want them. as well. They were from hell or something. <laughs> is that a polar seltzer you're drinking right now, Michael? It is. If I, is that looks like one of the, Yeah, I love the summer flavors. They are so fucking good. Oh my God, I'm going to open this. And my favorite is the mango. Yeah, oh, please. Let's see that face. Mm. Not too, I don't actually know what durian smells like. I just know that apparently it stinks. It stinks. It smells like a uh, dead, like rotting corpse. I feel like from what I've heard. I didn't like it. What it tastes like. Uh, and apparently durian tastes good. I didn't really like bad. the taste that much. Um, everywhere in like Vietnam and Thailand and stuff, they have like signs in the airports like no durian. <laughs> Please do not do this. It tastes like weird, sweet, sour cream and onion. Ooh. That sounds good. <laughs> the sound of that hey thank you master chief anyone out there if you have twitch prime you're you're allowed to give one channel your monthly sub so we would love 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 if you gave us yours we use that money to pay for um uh kieran bennett Mm -hmm. who's our video manager which um helps us get videos on youtube for things we probably wouldn't do because we don't make money on youtube really i think we made like a hundred dollars last year <laughs> like the whole um, year that sounds about right <laughs> so it's not always worth it to us to like go through all the hassle of getting stuff on youtube but because the money that you guys are giving us we're like fuck it it's even if it's not making us money it's more convenient it makes people happy uh oh, so um so you know that's just one specific example and then we use it for other stuff too you know uh, a lot of the uh twitch money goes into like the incidental funds i think it like pays for like our server fees and shit not yeah. for this show yeah those, like whenever those, anything those fees are insane yeah <laughs> yes they are but yeah but, but like, for all the other shows <laughs> yeah it pays for like brute force or something i don't know um cast of thrones you're a wizardary i should have been this new drink no one ever had before which is alcoholic <laughs> seltzer um in white wine in white wine <laughs> but it's a it's like elderflower lemon <laughs> Alcoholic seltzer. Yeah. It's a, a, a it's white, white wine spritzer. It's real. Yeah, it's that sounds amazing. It's wine delicious. spritzers are fucking good. Dude. Yeah, it just tastes like a face. It tastes like a Wait. fancy soda, basically. <laughs> uh, call back to before. What was that? I couldn't understand you because Ted was talking. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking loud ass. Um, it's this, it's this alcoholic seltzer that is like elderflower lemon flavored. And then that sounds so mix good. it with white wine and it's delicious. I don't remember the brand. I, I can probably find it actually. Elder I fucking love it. Lemon. Lemon. Oh. Sorry guys, I got real jazzed up because we were recording and I got super excited. Very horny for recording tonight with you guys. I this is I was in <sighs> I had a not great day at work. Why I was are really you apologizing? Out, and I Because sometimes uh, go ahead. I'm oh sorry, no! Just, I was saying this recording has has made my evening much better. Um, yeah, I apologize because sometimes if I don't, then I wake up with an immense amount of shame and guilt in the morning <laughs> because I feel like I might have acted a fool. Um, which in the moment you're, I don't you're care. T- terpsy right now is what I'm hearing. I think that right now I am having just such a good time. I'm about a bottle of a wine. A bottle of a wine. Oh God! You judge oh, God. for yourself. <laughs> in um but i'm having a great time and i'm there really proud of us i know i said that like a week ago but i'm really proud of us guys <laughs> hey nika i'm proud of you job, and thank you so much for uh saying that you know 2019 uh is good, you know we're gonna we're gonna get up to some fucking crazy shit you know what i'm saying we're gonna it's gonna be oh. the year uh the it's called it's spritz with the z's in the end itz Ooh, i like that s-p-r-i-t-z mm-hmm. um it's very tasty. I didn't taste their other flavors, but they have like golden peach 
and cucumber <gasps> lime twist. But that elderflower citrus one is fucking uh, banging. With any random white wine, it tastes good. And it's gluten free. That sounds real good. I, I oh, it. golden pear, my bad. Not golden peach. Can't read. But still, I drink either. Yeah, I, 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 I actually don't often like like fake lime flavor, and I don't like fake cucumber. Like I like an actual cut of cucumber. Like in like a, a, a Hendrix gin and tonic. Figure it out. But I don't like if a, a cocktail menu was like, it's a cucumber drink. I'm like, no, that tastes bad to me. It tastes but, like uh, the way that cucumber melon Bath and Body Works solution smells. <laughs> Back before I oh, knew shit. cocktails, we, me and my friend went to a martini bar and I ordered a cucumber martini and I was like, Ugh! but like, but again, a few thin slices of cucumber in a Hendrix gin and tonic, that's the good shit. Delicious. That's the best. I love oh, cucumber and a nice crisp uh, granny apple cut up and soaked in some Hendrix. Oof. Now, I I've used to get real done that. On those. that sounds very good. That whenever I first started in the show, that's what I used to drink because I get so nervous. And man, that just calls. <laughs> well, yeah, when my you see your heroes. <laughs> Super drunk. <laughs> I've been drinking so much seltzer, it's crazy. And here's the thing: I still don't really like it. <laughs> What? They're Wait, good. Have you tried the cherry I, lime made polar? That one's so good. And the I just, I like, I like it better than not drinking it. If that mm. makes sense, which is why I keep drinking it constantly. Are you trying to um, stop drinking soda? Like, do you like soda? Or I love soda. I don't okay. drink soda. I, I don't um, like soda that much. anymore. It's too sweet for me. Yeah, it gives me a stomachache. Um, I like how sweet it is. Mm. Um, so I wish this so that, had sugar in it. Yeah, that, that, that makes, if you're a person that likes the flavor of soda, that does make sense that you wouldn't like seltzer. I used to be, I used to not like seltzer, but now like in my, in my older age, I don't like sweet stuff as much anymore. I, mm. can I tell you in your my, wise years, in my, in my, my, yeah, in my, my wiser times, can I tell you my most recent struggle that's not, not a struggle at all? I can't find a good chai latte that's not too sweet. Because Starbucks does not sell yeah. the lightly sweet one anymore. And it makes me so mad. I, and I went there and I was like, can you make it less sweet? And they're like, well, we have more water in it. And I'm like, what? No. I, what's wrong with you? Like, I just want more spice and less sugar. Like, so now so now I go to Davis Tea too much and spend too much money on, like, actual tea. I know that um, I'm completely biased, but uh, Courtney's Coffee Shop... Mm -hmm. Uh, Vagabond, they have a chai latte that they make everything like in house, and it is so like ginger spicy. That's what I want. Like, spicy, and it's not super sweet, and it is amazing. Like, that's what I want. I want like a good, co even like the good coffee shop near me. There's just like only okay. There was a really good. Do you remember Crema Cafe Don't in Harvard Square? Me. Do you remember that? Yes. They closed. What? And they had like the only like the best. The best chai latte. That place was always popular. I know. They closed. It's too expensive to be in Harvard Square anymore. Hello, Fearless Guster. Thank you for coming out. And hello, Fish I was going to say hello to Fearless Guster. No. <laughs> now you both can. Gosh. Beans. Is there anything happening the night before Geekly Inc.? Yeah, man. You know, nothing official, but hanging out. I don't know. Shit. I thought you said Geekly Inc. I think you did. A lot of people, a lot of people show up on Wednesday. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Like you will, if you show up on Wednesday and you hang around the area, you will see us, and we'll. I was gonna say you know, I will be there Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Well, but there's no I official also event. Be like no events on the Slack or whatever, and talking like yeah. I'm here. Like so, yeah. People will definitely be around. Yeah, but uh, Wednesday is the day that you have to throw yourself out more because nothing's like planned. Right. Exactly. Yeah. There's no events at all. Yeah. Like, we might assemble swag bags, and you could help us, which is really <laughs> yeah, nice. If wrong. you're in the right place at the right time, my brother <laughs> might give you a 30 rack of Bud Light. But, you know, that's <laughs> maybe, very, maybe very rare. Maybe not in Columbus. <laughs> yeah. But GeeklyCon's really great, you know. It's I, fun. I, every, I, you know, 100% of people that tell me, which is, you know, bad math, to be honest, <laughs> uh, that they are super afraid to go by themselves have really liked it. I bet there is someone that has gone and uh, mm -hmm. had a bad time but dude a hundred percent of people that have told us like yeah. i don't i can't think of anyone like the great great majority yeah we've had a few people that didn't know who we were and just like oh a nerd con and they were like very caught off guard by this um you know the, but that was what the fuck um but that was back when we were, it was less organized but you know 
there's definitely people that were like, you know, I have anxiety. I would never travel. Uh, I'm not good at talking to people. But uh, th this was amazing, and uh, I didn't even have to do at, uh, do too much for it to work out, and it makes me want to cry. So I would I would like to say this. I know that I feel like all of us are very um, outgoing. I am a very extroverted introvert. I guess mm -hmm. is the best way of saying it. Um, I love staying at home and GeekyCon <laughs> is literally my favorite because I get to see a whole bunch of really cool people and everyone is super nice. So if you are on the fence, please just buy a ticket and come. You will not yeah. regret it. It I is so I'm much fun. Technically the only extrovert. So But yeah, yeah. I get introverted. <laughs> I used to be. Yeah. I, I I mean I used to be a hundred percent extroverted and now I'm not anymore. Yeah. I'm I'm extroverted, but I get very tired uh, uh talking to people like too 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 long. So sometimes I had to mm. hide in my room for a little while. Mostly, I mean, yeah. I'm usually hung over during Geekly Con. <laughs> so, like it is, it is one of those things, of course, where it's what you put into it, right? Like, yeah. If you are an introvert and you're super shy, and you go and you don't put yourself out there at all, and like, <sighs> there is a chance people will drag you and, yeah. and make you have fun, but like, definitely can't promise that. And, and so, like, you been... do have to put some in th yeah. something yeah. into it and, yeah. and one person did tell me that like like oh i didn't really do anything on friday because i was too nervous but i finally yeah like, on saturday did one of the events uh, uh, like the outings in columbus um <laughs> to, like the arcade or something like that the barcade uh and um i'm pretty sure this is a story i'm not making up uh and they you know were good to go or they just sat at a random table yada yada because people like trying to play board games and sometimes they want a third or a fourth or Yeah, six. I think they have the, like, looking for a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking for group signs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. No, I think people are overall, like, really nice because everyone, like, knows that feeling of, like, I don't know anybody, but I want to, like, be friends. So I think people yeah. are, like, usually trying to, like, yeah. oh, this person looks also, like they're by themselves. So. Yeah. The hotel in Columbus has a really good pool. So if you're like, oh, I don't oh, want to be yeah. around a whole bunch of people in the game room, go to the pool. Because there are, are, I promise you, there are geeklies in the pool. I spent a shit ton of time yeah, there. Yeah, that pool was and extremely it, dope. It's super, yeah, it's Hot super dog, great. And sauna. Yeah. Shit was nice. Kind and of like if, you're super, if you're super shy, sign up for a D&D &D game. Yeah. yeah. And you'll be forced to talk to people or run yeah. one even. Yeah, that's true. Um, you, and you will definitely interact with humans People, and make probably enjoy it. Your year. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. We all got audacity going. You know it. Yeah. Okay. On go. Three, two, one, go. We're recording. We're recording. We're recording. We're recording a podcast. <laughs> butt sex, butt sex. Stop. <laughs> butt sex. Stop. <laughs> Now I am mad. Tim's gonna quit the show. What's in that, Tim? Gin? Just Tim gin? Tim hates sodomy. It's, it's the wine concoction. It's the wine it. concoction. Stop! Oh, you got your own. Beautiful. This is a wife tat. Give your, give your wife your wine. I was... It's hard to say if you have one, a drink. Then she's like, no. I don't want to I just want to sippy because, again, I, my body's still not like 100 I just realized today is not Thursday. It's just not. now. Tomorrow is uh -oh. not. And I was like, matter? should I go down and just like grab the moonshine I have or something? But no. I was like, nope. Who cares? Treat every day like it's a Thursday. Damn. Well, it, well for me, that's bad because I go to work on Friday, but I don't go to work on Wednesday. So, oh. Okay, so treat every day like a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone that's here, tomorrow at around 6.30, assuming something doesn't change, um, I will be uh, interviewing um, one of the creators of an, a, a new RPG called Beyonder. We saw it at PAX Unplugged. Oh, yeah. I like... Oh, is that the one? That... It's one of all the races. What's the one where they did oh, it? Oh, yeah, with, that was um... really cool. Is, is that the one they played like together? with their family? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that one was dope. That's oh, cool. That's really if uh, are they either gonna... of you are it's... available, you can you can co-host. Depending for sure. on how my work goes tomorrow, I might be. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. You know, uh, in a what time is it? Six thirty. Oh, six thirty Eastern. Eastern. I will be having a doggy date with a, a friend. Yeah. I'll be yelling at my son for not doing his homework. <laughs> <laughs> 
but just like every really cool. please try to get them to run a game for us because that seemed really awesome i really really liked the all the races in that one but now like, i'm like should they pay us no, somebody emailed <laughs> us to be like can we uh pay you to uh play our game for our kickstarter and we're like should you say yes uh, huh. we didn't email back we're Let's discuss later. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's sure. what like YouTubers do, right? Like, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, no, like for sure. Like, game companies pay them to play their games. We're smart. <laughs> RP uh, tabletop is slightly different. It, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Fine. I'm ready. Everyone have audacity open. <laughs> Nika. Nika. Oh, come on. Come bro. on. Now you fucked up because now I'm looking at all these like sexy snake people on on this website. Because <laughs> you brought up Yonder. Yeah. Look at the sexy snake people. All right, here we go. Let's do it. What? Greetings, adventurers. You have joined us for another episode of the Drunks and Dragons podcast. I am your dungeon master, Michael DeMauro, and with me is Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here. Th- Wait, I-, I thought we we're not going to do an intro. Are <laughs> <laughs> we not going to do an intro? I don't know. Damn. I guess we could do an intro. You're right. It's great to be here. Yeah. Nika Howard. I've kicked over 10-year-old heads, but can I beat 11-year-olds? <laughs> What does that mean? I don't even I... know. I'm just, I'm riding it out. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Cheeks here. Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode 299.5. That's five. why stuff is even weirder than normal. You know, episode two is, well, this is like yeah. that, but even weirder. Have you ever seen the Bean John Malkovich? That's this episode. I think I Can I tell you that. something, actually, real fast? I had a nightmare about the movie Being John Malkovich and John Malkovich tried to kill me, so I hate John Malkovich. He's I will very never scary watch that movie. Person. Huh. I just, I don't like it. But I was going to say, uh, backing, uh, piggybacking onto Jennifer's statement, this is not only a half episode, but it is a second episode. So I feel like things are going to be super weird tonight. Yeah, and mm-hmm. Mike Boffin's not here. And we, as we have said, we get really weird when Mike Boffin's <laughs> not here. Yeah. So who knows what's going to happen in this episode? Okay. So we might I, get I feel your part two. <laughs> Dirt I feel Dirt. okay. Oh boy, um, I feel okay with this being two ninety nine point five um, because if I look at our hosting stuff, it says we have three hundred nine episodes. So, <laughs> but like one's like our Patreon it announcement. Doesn't it doesn't count. Yeah. I we, mean, what's what is an episode? We've you know? definitely episodes. done more than three hundred episodes, yeah. but and I think some of the mailbags are episodes, but not all of them are. We should probably figure that out. Who fucking it's been a some long are, time. Are, We've been doing this for six, over six years. 20 years. Uh, that is all crazy. I know is that we're adults, and if we want this to be 299.5, God damn it, God it is. It. We're going to do it. Yeah. No one can tell me no. Not even God. Frazier. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I think I might respect Frazier. Who's right? the one uh, actually, what are we talking about? No, I don't respect Frazier at all. He can you would respect what they're saying. Yeah. I would ref- I would respect Roz if Roz told not our in game Roz but Roz from Frasier. Niles definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I would respect her. Uh, should we just pick up where we were? I mean, yeah. Like a, yeah. Like a quick recap. I mean, we fought a suit of armor. We fought a suit of armor. With a crystal. We released belly. Frank. It was Frank in yeah, the belly. Yeah, there's a, a Frank egg inside of it. <laughs> That's very cursed we to think about. Frank. I don't like that. Did Frank come out? Is Frank nude, by the way? Is he covered in goo like in yeah. the Matrix? He's nude and covered in goo. <laughs> <laughs> we did not react enough I mean, to that. I mean, we knew that was happening. But... We all knew he was nude, but we were trying to like yeah. save his dignity a little bit. Yeah. Um, and also, frankly, frankly, nice. we, we were all just completely gobsmacked by the size of his donger. Yeah. It so. was like the episode, episode, the Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. <laughs> When at the end, Elizabeth Hurley, is that her name? I think, uh, keeps holding yeah. up things in front of his ding dong. And it's very <laughs> funny, isn't it? That's what happens. <laughs> yeah. um, now, I I didn't plan on that being Frank. 
Um, and I did glance over at the chat room and as somebody said hashtag free Frank. And I don't know if they were talking like I glanced at it for a second. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they were thinking that that was what was happening. But the second I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, that's Frank. In there. Well, peek behind the curtain. Well, Michael, you should have not told us that. And now you've given the chat room too much power and they're going to fucking get crazy know. for it. He doesn't have to listen to them. No, he needs to listen to them and not tell them because someone in the chat said fucking called it. And that is a DM tip, everybody. That's like <laughs> nine episodes of Conductor Seat. <laughs> like right Just there. Just pretend like you planned everything. Yeah, the chat literally got uh, hood hoodwinked the same way we did by the being being able to say you called it i knew it when all the dm did was just listen to you it's such a, a, mm -hmm. a useful dm trick but you know what michael is just trying to, to be down to earth and <laughs> let people mm. know that like it's not as mysterious as it seems to dm that's true you know what he's a he's a giver it's so true <laughs> yeah but like well, i wouldn't he's a know. service dm he's having good ideas in the chat they're great <laughs> i feel oh, like that's the right true. answer though, right <laughs> huh like that's the right answer. Like as soon as like, of course that's got to be yeah, Frank in there, it's or it's like someone weird that you we haven't seen, and I don't know, it's focus. Um, <laughs> he's back and he's pissed. Now we did say that we were gonna give Scud limited uh, actions because uh, Bachman's not here, and we all joked about like, well, obviously we're not gonna make them like poop their pants or anything like that and as soon as we said that the chat did say make him fart and make him pee himself so you know it, you take the good <laughs> and you take the bad you gotta separate the, the chaff from the wheat exactly the the sheep and the goats the franks from the pee pee <laughs> um now it is my understanding of bachman will be back next week so yeah, we are hoping uh, send him all oh, your healing oh, energies oh oh, oh i should have said this last week maybe we can edit it um, uh, that was the mysterious extra announcement I want to say. Um, as we all know, January 24th is International Rate and Review slash Tell a Friend about the Drunks and Dragons podcast. That's right? just, that's on the calendar. Right. You know, we've done it every year, but usually because of leap years and, um, various, you know, January, you know hockey tournaments, month. it hasn't come up before, but, um, this will be our 300th episode. We're doing things a little bit different that episode. Uh, we've listened to a lot of feedback and we have some really fun ideas that Michael came up with and they're very good and smart. They're, they're smart. <laughs> they came up with them. Um, yes. And uh, so uh, in honor of that, we want as many people to be crammed inside our own jerk yurt, which is uh, twitch.tv slash geekly inc. And uh, it will be, can we say that it won't be spoilers? Is that right? Michael, can you say that? Uh, it is, I think it is safe to say that you will not believe what is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Even if, okay, you, you could not be spoiled because you will be baffled, mm -hmm. you know? You'll pay for the whole seat. And you'll I, we, we've been talking about it personally, and I, I still can't believe it. I cannot believe it's, it. It's so, what we're doing is so brave. It's very brave. <laughs> it is brave. We are honestly heroes. Yeah. But what we, we need, though, is before you hear it, to review the show and to tell your friends about the show, uh, download the show. Like, it, like I download the show on Spotify, but I don't listen to it on Spotify. You know, I listen to it on down. I don't listen to it, but I download it on Downcast. <laughs> listen to it. Download it on all your podcast apps. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Uh, because, you know, 2019 is our goddamn year, you know? Can I just say, I I have stopped hiding this um, and, like, basically tr trying to not, like, feel shamed by the fact I do a Dungeons & Dragons podcast. <laughs> I started work at my new work, and I told them all that I do a Dungeons & Dragons podcast, and they sent it out to everyone in our system <laughs> throughout the whole oh day. Hoi! Hoi, hoi, hoi! But I have to say, it's actually really great. One of my coworkers, I met him, and he was like, yeah, I play, like, all these different systems. And I was like, yeah, this is our podcast. He emailed me the next day. He's like, listen to your podcast. Um, I was actually really surprised you guys have, like, really great audio quality and everything like that. And I was like, we're professionals. Yeah. yeah. I like so, to like, uh, baffle my coworkers like with stories of, like, oh, yeah, the other day. Uh, uh, oh, I can't tell the story. Uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just say people cry when they meet us. Oh, and we should say 
everyone that's going um you know this is our year but it's also year year two that's so true uh shit's been hard out there it's been bad. uh this year might be hard as hell for you uh we cannot help you but we just want you to know <laughs> <laughs> that uh, we're out there rooting for you, mm -hmm. and we are getting the nice letters or uh, stories our people are telling us. Yes. Uh, and and <laughs> shit slowly gets better, but sometimes it is hard yeah. to tell. It really sometimes does. Things get worse, and, and then uh, we want you to know that's okay. I I heard this, and this was something that was like very impactful for me. Each person is like a flower. You do not bloom all year round. You have seasons that are good and seasons that are bad. Damn, so maybe this true. is your bad season, Fucking... but maybe things are going to start turning up for you. Like just, you got to keep trudging through it. You got to just keep doing the best that you can stay positive. As you can tell, I'm on a depression high right now. not a depression <laughs> low. Um, <laughs> so just keep doing it. Reach out to whoever you need to, to mm -hmm. talk, connect with friends, have yeah. fun, do something that makes you happy. But make 2019 your year. And 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 not us, though, because I do think that people sometimes, uh, it's called para, para social relationships, um, where, uh, unfortunately, we cannot be close to all of you. It's just not physically. It's not physically it's, possible. It's not temporally possible. <laughs> exactly. We did not. We, we, I, would, I wish that we could help and talk to exactly. everyone. I but I, I feel like I've finally reached the point on Twitter where I just, like, I just miss shit all the time. Yeah. And it makes me feel yeah. bad. But... Unfortunately, I have a, a nine to five job that I gotta do shit yep. at, and uh, I got a life. And sometimes I just don't, don't check my Twitter. Yep. So and the it geekly... doesn't mean I don't like you. I just miss things. Sometimes. Yeah. And the geekly community is large, and um, um, you know, what, uh, there any damn way. Uh, 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 Boy, January twenty what... fourth, international review slash tell a friend about, about D, D and D Drugs and Dragons podcast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and if you need friends, come to GeeklyCon, and you'll yeah. probably make some friends there. Yeah, you'll probably get to talk to us. Uh, if... There are too many people to, for us to talk to every single person, but um, we do our damn best. Yeah, uh, You probably don't need to update your reviews. I actually don't know how that helps or not. Uh, maybe you could. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, if it gives it more cred, like, I'm still listening all this time later, and it's still extremely good. I, yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. Is it like a Yelp review update? I have no idea. Yeah, me either. Oh, yeah. do, do, do what makes you happy if you want to update it. I think Go. I think if you Determine. update your review, then it deletes your previous review. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um, this is why we have that one where it says how great we are, and then it has one star. Oh, my God, I love that one. <laughs> oh man. That's, That's a real head scratcher. What a mystery. <laughs> love it. Um, just steal your mom's phone or whatever and review yeah. us that way. Yeah. yeah. Log download, on to your grandparents' computer. You <laughs> yeah, I'll never know. Uh, shit, you guys. So uh, we last episode we fought a giant monster, free to Frank, got our right. blood back. Nude. Yeah. Got, yeah, got our blood and back. And our got items. Cool items. I have a fucking uh 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 crystal ball. Room. I have a a, a, oh. a Star Trek esque visor that I'm mm -hmm. wearing that will allow me to just charm the pants off of people three times. Scud got some weird I bone. Have... <laughs> yes. Scud bone. I feel like we'll learn yeah, more about that, that later. That makes things evolve. Uh, Lonnie got boots that make her go through walls that are tall <laughs> and just are less thick. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm so uh, And D&D &D Beyond. Uh, they're galoshes, so they stack with shoes. So they're yeah. boots on boots. I wish they were anklets, because that would be gross. Um, or like socks. They could be socks, I guess. Oh, they could. <gasps> Listen, it's our game. Anklet. Toe ring. Yeah. Toe ring. <laughs> The toe ring okay. of speed. I like that. Can the boots of speed? Because I love the the whole aesthetic of the boots, Michael, that you gave. So could mm -hmm. the boots of speed actually just be like socks? Absolutely not. No, that's well, what if what if it like like symbiotically binds with the boots? <gasps> like a venom situation. Like Jennifer yeah. was talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's, like it. it's it's circle all coming back. It's all linking. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. Penny, you put in penny loafers. Um. It's always been my head canon that Lonnie's toes are out. Is that true? I don't think that's wrong. I feel like I have I have constructed Lonnie to be every stereotype of a typical very country person ever. So the does fact that wear, her toes are out fits. Does she wear dirty old flip flops? 
<laughs> she she got them when they were two for two dollars <laughs> on July Fourth weekend. Shower shoes? No, that is my Did shoes. I fail to mention that they were shaped like Crocs? Did I not <laughs> I didn't say that? That's perfect. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. No, I think I Crocs, Crocs, speed. Crocs, Crocs of speed with a. <laughs> They got a super grip sole. Yucky. Oh um, boy. But Michael, I would actually, while after, well, okay, we uh, Lonnie punched the the weird light. Um, yes. yes. Anything f- crazy happens? Your your powers come flooding back yeah, to you. You can now cast that. ninth level spells. Jesus Christ! This crazy? game. It's too hot. Uh, I would we actually all like can cast ninth, ninth level spells. Yeah, all of you. Yeah, Michael um, said it. Scud can't cast ninth level spells, but he can cast spells at ninth level. I cannot believe he multiclass. It's so confusing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cast scrying using this crystal ball of telepathy. I'm gonna huddle in the corner. Uh, if nothing, again, if nothing's too uh, banana pancakes. I'm sure my immovable rods mm-hmm. do work. You um, you hear thumping outside of the door as long uh, along with the screams of, of humans bl- and blink dogs, blink and, dogs yeah. and demons. I, oh, it's a DC thirty strength check. That I thought it was like half that. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, moving the fixed rod up to ten feet next success. I, okay, I only have one more immovable rod, but um, I would like to use my crystal ball. To scry on <gasps> someone. Wait, I can I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Tim. No, please, I, please. I well, this is, really this am. Shows you have but, uh, excitement and energy, and I, I, I accept. It. <laughs> I see. You. Could, I support you. I <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I know how much you love your removable rod and how long it took you to get it. I, Would I, you be willing to put the broom that can move, therefore you could command it to stay in place, in place of your removable rod? Absolutely not. Um, okay. A, oh, I uh, know. a broom of flying, you know, can carry 400 pounds and things like that, but it cannot, uh, you know, a movable rod requires, um, can hold up to 8,000 pounds. Okay. And so you need, you got, we got to make that door secure. Right. right and it takes now. a DC 30 check yeah. to move it. That's a lot. Yeah. I thought That's it was that is a lot. movable rod. Yeah. Especially for some mooks. Yeah, exactly. Um, so uh, I love it. I love the idea. I love the, you know, we, we can have some fun with it. The immovable rod's probably like that goddamn, br- or excuse me, the uh, broom of flying is probably like that goddamn broom in a Fantasia or the Beast. He, you know, he could be putting against it. He's sweating his tassel, you know, and whatever, teacup. Yeah. Uh, it, it only, it, it talks to you, but it only sings. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else hear that he- singing? No, just me. Hello, uh, okay, you, you can only, only you can <laughs> help me. I need. To, I grab the drill to try to get the singing out of my head. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna scry on your friend and mine. You know, I I I'm I'm not quite extremely versed in religion. I'm not proficient in it, but uh, I know a good a good deal about religion. You know, I I've slept in the man's bed. So I would argue <laughs> that I'm fairly um, aware of a, a certain person by the name of Paylor. And I, I would like to describe. I forgot about you sleeping in his bed. That's true. On, on Paylor. You slept in his bed a lot. You slept a lot. Yeah, remember when you <laughs> never stopped sleeping? <laughs> I've been awake for six hours. Um. <laughs> So the way Scry so works is you get to add or subtract modifiers based on your knowledge of them and your connection to them. Uh, I would say that I'm probably familiar. That being said, the um, the, the person who is being scryed upon, Michael, can choose mm-hmm. to fail it. Now, we mm-hmm. technically hmm. are not best buds, you know? Because mm, you haven't actually met in exactly. person. He doesn't know who the fuck I am. I mean, he might. I'm. I, I'm Toby. Goddamn Trinkle Target. And Wait, Harper, who are you trying to scry with? Paylor. Oh, Paylor. Sorry. And uh, uh, King Titus Harper fused with Paylor, as all mm. all souls eventually do. Like Venom. Like Venom. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Not everything is a Venom, but I you saw know, Venom and, a few days ago, so I'm pretty sure it's like Venom. <laughs> uh. So yeah. Uh. At the very least, I think if he chooses to. Um, fight back, um, me try- going toe-to-toe with a god, damn. Um, it would either be a zero or a negative five to their roll. 
and I, I, my connection to them, you know, uh, it's either likeness or picture, possession or garment, body part, lock of hair, bit of nail or the like. You know, I, I probably have some dandruff still on my cloak and things like that. So uh, I would say if you're being generous to your boy, he gets a negative 15 or he's like, you know what? I know who Toby is and I don't, I'm not even going to fight it. Um, one thing that is not mentioned. Sorry. It's fine. We have an editor. <laughs> ah. Hmm. You got <laughs> while while you're looking for that, Michael. Do you guys ever just um, blow or exhale with your hand close to your face so that your um, exhale goes up and fogs your glasses? Oh no, that's weird. <laughs> I do it to keep my face warm. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Well, but I yeah, damn it. So, but if you just like, and then it frosts your eye over. Um. No. So you can get the anime glasses. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, like, also, it may be a thing. You guys have real glasses, so maybe oh. that isn't a thing that happens. No. It's like anti-fog. It, like, actually happens okay. to me, like, if I go from the train where it's, like, warm to outside in the cold, then my glasses fog over immediately and I can't see anything. Yeah. I'm like, ugh, this is a bummer. This is piss. So, um, so if it fails the saving throw, that means that you can see and hear them. Correct. Or if they choose not to, to fight. Correct. It. Um, okay um so uh describe what it looks like as you are peering into this crystal ball so yeah uh toby just sits down uh crisscross applesauce Mm -hmm. and puts it in his lap and you know very stereotypically kind of rubs his hands over and uh you know it it lights up and his face is you know um and, and and kind of washed out brightness as his eyes kind of um uh dilate um wider and wider as he as the the mists begin to unswirl um in and his crystal ball and you uh you an image begins to form in this fog that is swirling and uh and it becomes clearer and clearer as you kind of get the hang of of how this thing works and uh before you know it you see what appears to be the god Pelor, and he is uh, almost exactly like Melora. Uh-huh. He is uh, he is floating in midair. Um, there is a mm. small pyramid beneath him, and there is he's apparently in this field of light, which you know means that he is trapped. Um, and you have the means. You also know that you have the means to free him with the artifact that you have gathered. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, basically, I'm like sending a orb to this location, right? Um, if mm-hmm. there's a creature there that can see in, in, in invisible things, they see it. Uh, but Michael, uh, do I see um, anything, any like guards or anything like that around uh, Paylor? Like, I want to. Um, yeah, I wonder. Place. Like, I don't. I don't think it says anywhere, as far as I can tell, um, how, like, it says you can see and hear the, the person. I can see. I uh, you can communicate telepathically with creatures. You can see within 30 feet of the cri- spell's sensor. So basically, what okay. this does, it's not just scrying. You use scrying mm-hmm. to get the sensor there. And then once the mm-hmm. sensor's there, yeah. you can kind of, you have, like, a better perception of what's going on. Okay. And you're saying that if somebody can see invisibility or has like true sight? I believe so. Yeah. What could they do anything? I don't know. Um they just know that the thing is there. Yeah, you know, it's like uh there's a warlock spell in uh World of Warcraft called Eye of Kilrog and it does no one can mm-hmm. see it, but if someone can see it it has HP. 
Uh, Nika has her hand up, Nika I believe. Has her hand. <laughs> yeah, I want to. Can we? Uh, uh, the chair Nika. recognizes. <laughs> no, it's just because I literally. Okay, I I literally will do this because I don't want to interrupt you, so I will just keep my hand raised so it lets me know that I have something to say, but also <laughs> it's an indication it, yeah. for you guys. Thank you for noticing. Um, I just wanted to say, is this? similar to the movie phantasm where the silver ball is flying around and everyone sees it no <laughs> you just keep okay. shooting down nika <laughs> that's why unless, I, i'm go ahead oh just unless everyone in the movie phantasm has true sight that's a good point i apologize well, because everyone I mean, in the movie phantasm it, has true it sight. would be the same if the crystal ball were not invisible right it would just look like a ball floating around hmm in which would be like phantasm. Damn. Um, I was just creating for the theater of my mind. I was just curious. <laughs> so true. Thank you for answering my question and indulging me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and, so and even though the spell scrying, I can see and he it's basically I, like Toby's face pops up there. Uh, even mm -hmm. though that's not quite what's happening. Um, and it's, but it is connected to Paylor. So I can see and hear from right. this orb that is in within 10 feet of Paylor. Right. Probably hanging uh, around was, his back. Like a, I think you said 30, right? Uh, that is just I thought you said normal 30. scrying is I can see and hear as if I'm there, right? And then this, mm -hmm. the telepathy, uh, or excuse me, the crystal ball, um, I can communicate telepathy with creatures I can see within 30 feet of the spell sensor. So that's uh, the added thing. So, you know, maybe I can see something that's 60 feet away because... No, got it, got dark vision but I can't. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I see. I see. So um, are okay. there any guards, my friend? Uh, well, there's a there's a whole there's a whole interesting interesting room that you're looking in right now. <laughs> Don't you love it when your players you're like, okay, I just finally to got to this fucking room that I designed. I have to be one step ahead of them. I know what this next room is right here, but I'm not too <laughs> sure, but I'll figure it out when they're like rolling bullshit. And then like, can I see? I want to know the, the final room, please. Uh, so it is, uh, it appears to be this sort of huge uh, room that's almost like, it's like a gigantic jail cell. Okay. Um, and uh to off to the right of Palor, about ten feet away, um, you actually see another one of these pyramids, and another creature, oh. uh, another humanoid creature, seems to be trapped within it. Michael, can can I do a? And I'm sorry for um, uh, uh, taking so much time here, but can mm -hmm. I do a Arcana slash History check to see if I know who they are? Sure. Is this who the go or the guest thing is, and they're gonna like pop on the stream and make me scream? <laughs> There's no guest. <laughs> well, uh, well, like on the call, it says guest with a muted and no picture. Uh, no, Did no, you no. not That's show that for the, the time. That's, That's for Mike Bachman. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, what if you've been goofing us the whole fucking time Dude, and right, it's an actual guest, and then it. at this point they click no! camera let's on? That would be on awesome. Mute. Let's. Let's I would have had it. to plan that with Tim. <laughs> Let's reveal it right now. I hope it's Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> it's another Jennifer. Yes! Girl has three parts! <laughs> uh, no, we, we had to have a fourth person to make the, the border make sense. But I'm into it. That was perfect. Thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, I got a nine. My eyes flash with a golden hue. Um, 22. What's that? 22. 22. Uh, you uh, instantly recognize this being as uh, Torog, Tor the god the of the Earth realm. What the heck? Torog's back. He's trapped himself. Huh. And uh, you also see in this room uh, it appears to be empty of all other things uh not all other things it's a like sort of a jail cell room um but uh there is a uh, a person a small sort of, or not small but a squat uh woman sort of pacing back and forth and she seems to be kind of ranting to herself okay um and I'll you're not really able 
to make out a lot of what she's saying, but um, you pick up the words "Lord of this realm" and and uh, that it, that that is said many times. Okay, I would like to cast using my uh, uh, um, crystal ball of telepathy, please. Um, mm-hmm. Is she within thirty feet of Paylor? Uh, she's she's sort of like walk. She's pacing, okay. and so I think like every like you know thirty seconds or okay. so, she probably comes within thirty feet. Okay, I'm going to cast suggestion on her um, using okay. the special property. She needs to make um, uh, seventeen. Is that right? What? What do I tell you? I trust you. I'm kidding. Why is it? So- <laughs> I might have so much better than that. No, it's probably just because that's what the crystal ball is. I don't know. Anyways, I guess you're casting wisdom. seven. Is it what kind of save? A wisdom seventeen. Okay. Um, she gets a twenty-four. Okay. Uh, let me make sure there's nothing. Okay. Yeah, nothing happens. That's fine. I was gonna make her fucking poop. Do we know what Joselle Longshadow looks like? <laughs> no. Could you know that she's a squat woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess yeah. We, you we do, do now. Do. Can, can we run that against any other backgrounds that we have of squat women to see if those if there's a Venn diagram? The only other hit is a <laughs> Ludra Worms. <thing. laughs> is it a Ludra? <laughs> is a Ludra in jail? <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's fine. Uh, this is this. I'm gonna, you know, scope out the room more, and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna, you know, I assume um, um, Joe Sale that I've now just met telepathically, not telepathic. Wait, I can talk to them. Yeah. Now she does turn and looks directly at the at like she's looking right in your eyes. Yeah, that makes total sense. I fucked up. You know, I cast a spell <laughs> instead of talking to her. Um, does she do anything bad? Am I still there? You're still there. Okay, I'm going to speak to her then after, you know, I've already tried to cast a spell. I'm sure this will go fine. And say, (laughs) hi, Joe Sale. It's uh, me, Toby. I mean, Brad. Brad Trinkletart? Um, Anyways, so things have gotten bad on the um, uh, 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 guard floor. And, you know, we're going to come down there and free Paylor. And I guess Torog, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. So would you like to give up now, or? Uh, she cackles maniacally. <laughs> and uh, she says, I would like to see you try. Okay, well, um, what's the fastest way to you if you'd really like to see you <laughs> us try? Put the dragons where the mouth is, is what my, my mommy always said. Um, she waves her hand and, uh, your crystal ball goes black. And I, of uh, course, naturally f- fall over and my, <laughs> you know, my robes <laughs> fall over my head. Cause we, we've changed into our, like our, our, our normal gear, not just throw our, our mm. So, um, you know, I might keep my, um, I'm, I actually probably still have my, um, uh, prison uniform underneath my, Under, uh, the robes. Yeah. The robes. Yeah. Just cause I think it's cool. Also just to clarify, we stopped the light, which means that everybody in the prison whose blood was captured in there is no longer affected by it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so do they yep. feel, like, do you feel, like, a little, like, tingle when that happens? Like, do people know? Oh, Toby definitely felt. Yeah, you would, too, because you don't yeah. you have spells. Yeah, okay, so so everyone up at the, so shit is about to get, like, wild It's like there. everyone gets a, a, a bonus. It's like in Orange of the New Black when they all escape in the lake. Um, at, yeah. As this thought occurs to you, uh, the floor shakes a little bit, and you hear um, a, just a, a far off explosion. Uh oh. Well, th- I hope that's good. Um, I don't know if you guys th- was, thought this was a good idea, but I saw I met Joe Sale. She's <laughs> odd. Um, and I told her we're coming. It was. Uh, that probably was bad. Probably could have used some surprise, but uh, you yeah. know what? Fuck it. Who cares? Who cares? Let's, I'm ready Wait, to roll. I, I've got I, my. Powers got... back. I'm sorry. I I just have a question real fast. Uh, Toby, why would you tell her we were coming? Oh, it was a plan to get her surrender. 
Did she? Did she surrender? Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. 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 We can we can talk about this later. I uh, I think we're all more powerful and better than ever. I think we learned a lot in prison, and it gave us a lot of good life skills that will transfer and translate best into our next mission, which true. is going to be uh to attack and try to defeat and the very aware Jose Longshanks. Yeah, uh, and also, uh, also, um, it wasn't just Paylor that was locked up in one of the weird uh, pr- uh, uh, pyramid things. It was Torog. So, was this, are you saying that Torog's not even been in charge the whole time? No, been here. I thought isn't that a letdown? And and what are what Grinch up to? What the fuck? <gasps> what if? What is her the name? cult of oh the reptile god? god. Oh. <laughs> What if oh it's not a Dira. Is it a Dira? I'm sorry, this is this is me. I, I went into character and now I'm out. What if it is uh, a Dira that is behind all of this and she's like making all of this shit happen so that she can like do some like weird voodoo black magic so that she can bring Harper back or so that she can get all of the power and then rule over all of the different realms. Oh, no. My my understanding is <laughs> let's let's meta game here a little bit. Adira is level twenty. She's in the circle of seven or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, that means she is uh, aware and friends with uh, uh, spellcasters that can cast wish. Wish could have brought Harper back. Um, ah, so she could have. She didn't need to do all that. No, that being said. Maybe she's just crazy and she wanted to do it the hard <laughs> way, baby. Ooh, she's chaotic evil, so it doesn't matter what we actually try to reason. She's not going to follow it. Exactly. So maybe she tried to cast Wish. Harper's like, no, I, I'm. I it's wanna. better this way. And she's like, I'm going to force you back I'm to bring life, you back. Bitch. Or she's going to bring back Anthony Harper, everyone's favorite mean dad. Okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't Tony don't, Harper. Don't, 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 baby. Um, our cast is wild. Well, no, yeah, I, I, that's what I was like. Is that our cast? Is it hailing? No, I don't know. It's very loud. I don't. Sorry, there's weird sounds in our home right now. So yeah, I thought it would make sense for me to tell her that we're coming. <laughs> Was okay. that bad? Yeah, probably. sure. Uh, Hell, we don't know what's gonna be bad. We don't ever know until we get up and meet it. Gosh, that's something so Something you true. think bad might turn into be something good. Gosh, that's so true. Scott agrees. Okay, well, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we agree, so we do it. Uh, so, Michael, is there a, another door in the opposite side, or have to go back the way we came? Now, you do have a very detailed map oh. that I would like to remind you of. of I, I know that. I just don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I, I can't see the map. Oh, yeah, of course. My, we I'm sorry. I don't... said map. <laughs> Michael, I honestly I didn't like to the insult map, you. and I go through the door to the right that says slide to the fourth <clears throat> level like a museum it says the, all that it's weird um <laughs> there does there does a, on the map there does appear to be uh, a tunnel going through the back of the uh, equipment room uh you do not see any sort of door there or anything like that okay. um and uh, there's a little s written on it um Secret? on the map <laughs> And slide. uh, slide. <laughs> sliding, yes, yeah, sliding, obviously. <laughs> and um, and that does uh, connect to a system of tunnels, which would bring you down to the uh, fourth level. Okay, to a, a large there is a, a, a you can see on the map a sort of like a large room that is pretty obviously the place that you were just scrying. So I have like special uh, information there. Perfect. Uh, Toby from now on will not be walking, but he'll be flying on a broom. (laughs) That's fair. Can I ask a question real fast? Mm -hmm. As we are leaving now to go see Joe Sale, would you say that this is the last time uh, all hell is basically breaking loose and this is the last time we will be in the uh, the prison, or if we want to say goodbyes or say things to other people, um, should we leave them notes? What's the situation right now with correspondence of others? Yeah. Um, I, I, uh, I've, I've formed some pretty significant bonds in this jail. Um, I thought thought Toby would want to get his brother out. Of course. Yeah. My my assumption, uh, maybe I, I see, you know, um, Lonnie looking back or something and like, I, I don't think we're going to get teleported out uh, once we, you know, uh, 
free Paylor and Torog. I don't think so, at least. I think after we win, we can go back up. Uh, is, you Lonnie know. will race up to him in just an instant and grab onto his little robes and say, <laughs> you promise it, Toby? Do you promise it? Well, of course I don't promise it. She but... says it in a 1920s accent, too. <laughs> she... Get your long cigarette out my face. Um, I don't promise it, but if we can go, we will. I just, I was just thinking, Toby, I feel like I know we've been in prison and I know that it's not a good reason, but I've made a lot of really great connections here and I don't want to leave with Jeff without saying anything. So I, I'm just knowing if I should make my amends now or well, we if, can't go through that door because it, I, I mean, it's bad out there. There's demons and blink dogs and a million guards. Sure. Blink dogs are mine, though. So I, they're cool. I got a ferret fade to pack stuff full of Bursty's underwear, so I'd feel nothing if not improper if I left the prison without at least alerting him to that fact. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I could pro- I'm sure we could, you know, uh, send them information tomorrow if something bad okay. happens. I, but I'm, I'm sure. You I'm are, sorry, you are the masters of your own destiny, so. Uh, could we also maybe, could you make a note that I would like to contact that, uh, that prison guard that was, had the same name as your cellmate. Skymer Duncan. Yeah, Skymer <laughs> Duncan. I would like to contact him and see if he would like to start a Scarlet Harlot book club, because I really think there are a lot of deep underlying themes in that novel that are just not talked no, about stop enough. stop talking about Skymer. We're not doing that. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> if we're going to go back up, then maybe I should go talk to Verona and like see she wants to like get out of here and like you know maybe yeah. a movie or something I think you should do that what if you guys went for some all you can eat uh little shrimpies that Lottie you're it's like you're reading my mind right there now. are two gods <laughs> down this slide <laughs> that <laughs> Toby have you ever had all you can eat shrimpies I tell you it just does not stop coming to you you say you want scampi they bring you scampi you want fried they bring you fried doesn't okay. matter what kind you want they've got unlimited unlimited a fountain full of shrimpies in the back oh, of the man. kitchen it's possible Toby magic exists you just scried into <laughs> another room you can fly. <laughs> what? How? How dare you say that we can't have unlimited shrimp? <laughs> Stop yelling at me! All right, let's let's, let's do this. I, I'm it sorry. Seems like I had plenty of time to prepare for it. Lonnie, now, so. Lonnie will put Toby down and uh, pat his his chest over his robes and give him a little kiss on the cheek and say, "I'm sorry, Toby. Sometimes I just get really worked up about uh, good boss. friendships and my. Uh, oh well." <laughs> I kind of okay. on her side, though. She gave me a kiss. She's my boss. Okay. Wait, Wait. She's, she's your <laughs> boss? Oh, we've been over this. <laughs> your intense desire to be domed. <laughs> <laughs> told you that in confidence. That's why you're not allowed to, like, do any promotions. <sighs> um, so you look at the wall. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all. Um, so, ah, close my earpiece. I'm sorry. So, other, uh, so you look at the wall where uh, this door should be, and there's just nothing there. Oh, okay, well, shit. Wait, Toby. Uh, wait, hold on, Michael. I knock on the wall, and I do the old melon challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Roll yes. perception. Because I know you're bad at investigation. Thank you, Michael. You just have to run. I got a 23. Like a platform, not a uh, situation. Yeah. And hope for the best. So just, so just imagine, with that roll, just imagine you you knock, and we can see the sound waves coming <laughs> off of your knuckles. Oh, sure. And no. going through, and then, like, bouncing off the back. And, uh, like a daredevil. And, and this appears to be exactly 10 inches thick. I, I hold up one finger to Toby. I walk over after after I have kissed him on the cheek and such. I say, I'm like I'm, complaining. Like, she's like, yeah. I say, shh, 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 Toby, shh, hold on. Shh, shh. And then I zap over to the wall. Knock, knock, knock. Listen. <laughs> Sound waves come back. And I say, Toby, would you like to know what's on the other side of this wall? Yes. <laughs> okay. Toby pouting. Give me. Give me six seconds. And then I phase through the wall. I see what's on the other side. And then I come back. Michael, would you describe it for all of us, please? Uh, you see a comically large lever and uh, a slide going down into the darkness. <laughs> As for slide. 
Uh, so yes, I relay that to Tippy. Wait, how can we all get in there? She's gonna go back through and pull the comical. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, go through I, and pull the lever. I I go through and I pull the leather lever, and the leather. And the leather, yeah, leather. It's leather, leather. lever. It's wrapped in leather. Uh, so uh, so you pull a lever, mm-hmm. and um. And surprising everyone, including me, the door uh, it, it 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 swings down from the top. Um, the hinge is on the is at the, on the floor. Okay, so it okay. swings down from the yep. top, and uh, and it locks into place, forming and, and a little stairway or a little like little rope sort of falls down, forming a complete slide, and um, some sort of liquid seems to start. Uh, rushing down it. Um, okay. and, uh, what kind of liquid? Could you describe <laughs> yeah, that to us, please? Of, uh, information I mean, if you liquid. can make a check if I, you would like. Yeah, I, what, I what does it need to be? To perception? Can I perception? Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't want to touch it, so I don't know that I yeah, want to investigate it. Yeah. <laughs> 23. Oh man, I rolled a one! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is! Ew, gross, it tastes yucky. <laughs> um... It is. Uh, it appears to be some sort of uh, viscous liquid that is not poisonous, but does have a little bit of a smell to it. I taste it. <laughs> it's delicious. What, what does it fuck? taste like? Durian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not delicious. Why it would you lie to me? <laughs> okay. If a lot of is, people find it delicious. D- if you are saying that Lonnie finds it delicious, then I will unhitch. I can't Rick tell Barrett. you if you find it delicious. That is not my, my not my role. I feel like what would what like role would that be? Yeah. I, okay. No, 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 so, no, it's you, up to you. So, so Lonnie goes and she tastes it, and she says, "Guys, this is good as hell." And she unhooks her ferret backpack, and then she puts the mouth towards it so that this. Ferret is just gulping the liquid so that she can have it for snack time later. You've got one ferret full of durian water. Yeah, I'm not going to drink the slide water. (laughs) But you can go first, I guess. I'll follow later. I think we should keep you safe, Toby. You're the the soft, nuggety, smart center of our candy bar. Uh Why would they have this? This is baffling. I have a migraine. It's a prison. The, the, the twisted um, mind they have man. a secret <laughs> durian slide from and Scott yells yay and he climbs up and he dives in head first and goes zipping down the slide he loves it. <laughs> and you can hear him off in the distance woo yeah. Fucking Come on, if you go next. it's over 9,000 yeah um, I'll go and then, I'll, okay. and then Toby, you want to be in the middle? You want me to hold? I want to be in the middle, but I'm gonna fly down on on my my broom. <laughs> so you're not gonna be covered in dirty. Yeah. Loop. At, at the next uh, time jump, Toby's gonna weigh a baffling 169 pounds uh, for a no, um, because he has he's like the the humans from Wally. He's never gonna walk again. <laughs> Um, all right, you uh, you guys go zipping down this slide. It's really fun. We, or we actually, no, wait, let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk that back. You go, you go zipping down the slide. Uh, there, it doesn't hurt at all, and you're zooming around corners. And um, if that's the sort of thing that your character would think is fun, <laughs> then, then you have fun. Um, I yeah, you know what? Let me check. I do have fun. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it was fun. I'm testing out the real. Uh, capabilities of this new broom. Ooh, it's good. Mm-hmm. It is definitely challenging, um, but but you are able to navigate your broom oh, through this dope. through this. Uh, yeah, and uh, you come splashing out, I guess, into a little durian pool, and um, yeah! <laughs> it's very. It's it smells like very bad. Lizards. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and you know that right on the other side of. Uh, of this wall is a chamber that okay. contains two okay. gods and a bad guy. Okay, she knows Michael. that we're coming, which is bad. But you know <laughs> yeah, we're I coming can't... too. Okay, so are you saying we should still try to get somewhat of a jump on her? I don't even though we she definitely knows we're coming. <clears throat> I'm going in first. Man, I should have saved some spots for this. <laughs> what if what if we waited for 
an awkward amount of time. Like mm-hmm. she might expect us right now, but would she expect us in 32 minutes? <laughs> That's a good question. She might get bored. Would she expect us in six hours and 23 minutes? Who knows? <laughs> uh, she might start reading the Scarlet Harlot, you know? And, and then she'll get distracted. So, I don't think we should so, wait six hours. We might catch her while she's honking off. <laughs> wait. Oh, she's Toby, what if we use pages. your little thing? And you watch her, and we watch her until she gets uninterested in us coming, and then we hey, jump on her. Hey, I have an idea. Uh, uh, Lonnie, would you like to be invisible? Wild? Hell yeah, I would. The Wait. Wall? <laughs> Hold on. I knock on the wall. Michael, I'll fix that wall. I'll fix that wall. Perception. <laughs> okay, okay. 26. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Uh, this is a uh, exactly one foot wall. Like, you have to actually knock a couple different places, and mostly, it's like, a, it's mostly a 13 inch wall, but you find one area. That is just about 12 inches. Toby, Uh I think I know that there's one God on the other side of here, but I think the gods, all of them are in favor of you and I working together because I found this spot in this wall right here and it's 12 inches. Uh So my friend, you make me invisible. I'll make the magic happen. Um, There's technically two gods, even though one of them is real bad. Um, I'm just going to make... Uh, all three of us are visible, and I look at Scott, and I'm like, eh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, no, don't worry, I don't want it. to be invisible. We talked about this earlier, I thought. Anyways, uh, so casting invisibility at uh, fourth level, so I turn Toby, I turn Lonnie, I turn Rowan, invisible. And you know what that means, Michael. My concentration is now ended. On the arch thingy. Oh, so everybody can come blasting through. Rowan, can, could you say that you pulled the lever on your way back down, maybe? So sure. that we, you know, so they can't find us? Yeah. I think that's good. I would me. logically do that. Yeah. I'm a ranger. You're mm-hmm. a ranger. You would cover our tracks. Exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> durian. A slippity sloppity durian yeah. lube. Somebody has some very interesting kinks in this prison. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So, uh, and you do you you do know that there is a door that you can get to if you would like to just walk in. Um, but you're that you know, sounds that's, boring. Give one of us a Joe's face Dale's, boot. <laughs> well, I mean, Joe's Dale will see that coming, off. obviously. Face Crocs. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, all right. I'm not going in first because, and then he kind of just gestures to himself. <laughs> Well, I'll go. Yeah, I think Lonnie is going to go in first. Let's, let's, I'll, I'll go in. If you want to go in last, Toby, whatever you want. I think, no, I think it makes sense because if it goes in, I'll just use one of my like special monk uh, uh, teachings and <laughs> no one will hit me and it will be all good. And if everything's <laughs> bad, I'll just phase right back through the wall. Uh, hey, real quick. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, before we go... um. Rowan, yes. Uh, try that door quietly. Okay. okay yeah, fair. Okay. I can do. I can do that. Uh, do a stealth roll. <laughs> I don't. I don't like. The, I don't like the look of that dice. I'm gonna use a different <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, the glow dark one. I don't trust. Uh, that is a nineteen. What are you trying to do? You're trying I'm to sneak trying in. To peek. Is the door closed? Just to see yes. if the door's locked. Oh, yeah, I just want to just the knob just to see <coughs> Quietly, if it's a 19 of stealth to, 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 yeah. Real quiet. Um, yeah, it's unlocked. Oh, okay, well, never mind. I was going to say, uh, Lonnie, go in, <laughs> unlock the door for us, because we're going to use that door. But yeah. now we don't have to do that. Now we know. Huzzah! Best friends. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Something up. You know, Michael, when you're making content what? while you're playing D and D, looking something up is like the most stressful thing on the planet. Yes, it but is. it's the most normal thing I know in the world. Yes, because you cannot be Truly, expected to, to like lo- know every rule. No, you cannot be expected to know even all the stuff that you've written. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, that's fair. Googling yeah. things. Yeah, no, uh, I've, Michael. I, 
Yes. Go ahead, Tim. No, no, you go ahead. I, I talked. Mine, the first 20 mine is a time waster question. So <laughs> mine was going to mention math. No, I'm good. I'm I'm ready. Oh, okay. So sorry. So what's what's happening? Please go on with the actual story. Uh, Lonnie's going to face through the wall. Yeah, and we're going to be yeah. Toby and I are going to be at the door, ready to scoot right in there. Scoot right in as there as soon as we can, like hear something. Yeah. And I'll like there? whisper to Lonnie, like, I'll oh, open the door so that you can shoot an arrow or yeah. something through. Yeah. Okay. And, and, <gasps> yeah. All right. Sounds good. It's going to look cool. <laughs> it really is really going to look cool. But we'll, we'll wait for okay. a sign. Shit. We didn't tell her what the sign was. Oh, she'll, she'll make a noise. What's the sign? <laughs> now, I know. What if, this... Wait. What if I like ran through the wall and opened the door? Because I could literally open it in like a second, so that way you could have readied actions to like, psh, psh, opening like fire and, something. Hmm. Uh, I think your stealth attack is going to be much better than a, opening a door. I think stealth attack. You mean going through the wall and going? just like being there for the the attack time for yeah, Joe Sale? I think so. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure. I've drank a lot of wine, so I'll just. <laughs> Yeah. Double tech uh, plan. I don't know if you get advantage for attacking someone from stealth or from invisibility, but I think you should. Can I get sneak attack? That being said, I do know after you phase through the wall, it's like, she destroyed my orb. She might be able to see Lonnie. <laughs> well, we'll figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'll figure I'll it out. It. So are you trying to sneak uh as you go in or are you just gonna depend on your invisibility i think i'm gonna depend on my invisibility but like as i a well, player knows anytime you like do something that would like be an action you basically are breaking your invisibility so i feel like running through a wall is going to break invisibility um but also, we're gonna if we slam through the door on the other side, that will be kind of be a distraction. Yeah. So I think so, we need to do it at the same time. So your spell only breaks if you attack or cast a spell. So if the phase boots don't, you know, if they're not a spell, there's you know something you activate like Super Metroid, the greatest game ever made, uh, then you're <laughs> fine. Um, but I guess sure. if you I... face the wall and it makes this weird crackling and then does the prowler noise from Spider Verse, <gasps> then we're up our <laughs> creek. But not a, not a bad creek. I mean, it's either we come in not stealthily or you try to come in through the fucking wall where it's really weird. So it's, I think you go yeah. through the wall is good all around. Oh no, a hundred percent. I'm on board with that. I I think Lonnie right now, all she wants to do is run through every wall that she can. <laughs> yes, that's, that's um, a character note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that I'm gonna run through the wall. If I come through and I am see through, we will deal with that whenever mm -hmm. we get on the other side. But yeah. let's run through that fucking wall and see what happens, Michael. Oh, baby. Okay. You run through the wall. Um let's let's all roll initiative. All right. <laughs> Not the answer we were looking for, right, but here we are. Weird that we're rolling initiative. Oh, wow. oh, uh, Thirteen, Michael. <gasps> I got a, a twenty. I got a twenty-two. Uh, run. Okay. Um, and then what did I roll? All right. Uh, so you go through the wall, uh, Joe Sale turns and looks directly at you. Um, <laughs> you are still invisible, but, uh, she can see you. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I, I imagine right when that happens, I turn to, um, uh, Rowan's like, she saw my orb, which means invisibility might Fuck. not work. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. But so, we slammed the door open, right? Right at that moment? Yeah, that's what I was saying. We were doing it at the same time. It's like... Yeah. So. Um, you do, uh, because like you say that and, uh, you burst through the door and Rowan, um, you actually, you know, maybe yell fuck on it, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm just I'm throwing out suggestions. I'm not going to say it's fun for you to yell fuck or. Rowan would absolutely yell fuck. <laughs> Who's this new 2019 <laughs> Michael? <laughs> it's like too afraid to say that we're having uh, fun. <laughs> and, uh, Rowan, it's your, uh, you have, it's your attack. Wonderful. Michael is giving us the out to create the only characters that don't enjoy slides. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, here's the thing. 
thing I haven't brought up in a while. Uh-huh. You know I don't have an oath bow? I tried to, yeah. That you <laughs> have. Yeah. I think it's time to break out my sworn enemy. Jocelle Longshadow is my sworn <laughs> enemy. <laughs> Until she dies. Nice. I didn't know if you did that. Do it. An arrow. Tell her to and say, uh, eat my we gotta ass. roll. Oh. We gotta roll for Scud, too. Oh, oh. Damn it, Scud. Here, can I roll? Please do. Can I roll? Yeah. Okay. Um, He's got a plus he zero, has zero initiative. initiative. <laughs> tiny, a tiny gift. Classic. He got an eight. Oh, okay. Scud, buddy. Sorry. Going last. Someone's gotta be in the back. Back it's to fun. Rowan. So, all right. <laughs> the door opens. Rowan knocks an arrow and says, Jocel Longshadow, eat my ass. And then uh, <laughs> I also would like to cast Hail of Thorns. There's a lot going on, and y'all are going to have to bear with me as sure. I try to balance like four different things that are happening. Sure. In addition to using my open, because I get to attack twice, I also am going to cast Hail of Thorns, which is a bonus action, on my weapon, like on my arrow. Um... So what that means is the next time I hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack, uh, the spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from the ranged weapon. Um, and the target of the attack and each creature within five feet of it, which I'm hoping the gods are not within five feet, but if they are... Nope. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they have to make a dex saving throw, and they take 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save. So let me do math right now. <laughs> um, the thing that's confusing to me, like when I do these bonus actions, is that like on top of only one of my attacks? Or it's on both of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It's like you're blessing your spell. You know, or and your, I your, also, your bow, because right? Jotel Longside Out is now my sworn enemy, I get to do an additional 3d6 damage. Damn. So, okay. So normally, I have 1d8 plus 4. Now I have 1d8 plus 4 plus 3d6. Okay. <laughs> and then I have, on top of that, uh, 3d10. And don't you have a Melora bonus or something? I do, yeah, and it might be time to draft. pull it out. <laughs> I can only do it once a day, yep. but t- it feels like that time. Yeah, it's the time. Uh, uh, no, I think you get a bonus in damage on every attack, but you get to like reroll once a day. Oh, I might have re- I might have read that wrong in my thing. You might just need to make your oath bow a plus whatever to match Melora. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I was reading that wrong, Michael. I thought I could only do the extra damage once a day. Mm-hmm. Now that's good to know. Okay. How do we know that it's not 12.01 a.m.? <laughs> this is true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we get in all of our battles at 11.59. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I'm going to start to lay out <laughs> some dice so that I can try to remember. Don't punch the microphone. I'm, I'm going to punch the microphone. <laughs> um, boy, I hate the percentile dice. I don't like them. They confuse my little my little dumb brain. Um, oh, the, so first you got to hit. Okay. Yeah, don't roll all, all 95 <laughs> of the other ones. Fine. Fine. Uh, <laughs> That's a that's a, a, a critical hit. Oh my god! I rolled a 20. Oh shit! I rolled a twenty. You right. you are launching this with a with a crit? Yeah. yeah. God damn! So how so many get a double? Do you have? Two. You got to double those dice now. But, mm. <laughs> that's so confusing. <laughs> yeah, I'm really confused by this. Mm-hmm. You definitely what is it? get an extra D8. We can agree to that. Do you get the extra what 3d6? Yes. Why wouldn't I? She's For what? Because you do get it on something else. And then you would get the... Do you get the spell extra? Because your spell is not the attack. It's a bonus action, right. Well, you blessed it. So everything you do gets the... It's probably not, but... You double your damage dice, right? And then you add all the extra bonus shit, right? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. But yeah, I feel so like if there's you... anything else that has a crit... Uh... So she can't crit on can crit. the thorn thing. But I can crit on what my oath bow does. 
Yeah. Yeah. Fuck um, it. Yeah. You know what's the, yeah, what's an extra three like to six anyways? Right. If you're using the oath bow and you're doing it, you get your weapon crit and then any additional crit that you would have. So you get two. As long as I gotta roll again, attack. right? Because I get two attacks. Do you? You do. Yes, I get two attacks. You do. Yeah, so I you roll do. Again. So you basically are going to hit. That was also three very good. Uh, that was a 30. Total. Who are you? I don't know. What's happening? So <laughs> I love, I, I can't wait for everyone that tweets at you to says like, or to say, hey, Jennifer, uh, you should do this to make your dice roll better. Oh, uh, I guess Jennifer, gonna... guess Jennifer finally watched that video I sent her. <laughs> I was going to say that. I've never watched that video <laughs> and I won't. That's funny. Because... <laughs> But you have been rolling yeah. fire for Rowan. She's great. I, mm-hmm. I, I, we had to wait until episode two ninety nine point five, but here it is. Mm, here we are. Okay. Cool. And don't correct us yeah. on this because this is good I for us. I don't care. <laughs> um, let me have this. Yeah. Well, let's have fun. So you roll three d eight, nine d six, plus whatever the spell was. Okay. okay. Times two. <laughs> so so Why have you never done this before? Uh, because I'm dumb. <laughs> you should have done spell sniper too, and then had yeah. like three d eight. Damn. How many d six? Nine. That'd be good. Uh, if not more, what does your spell do? Uh, well, I'm talking about just for the, the wait. Where, how are you getting ninety six? Because you critted, so that's six, and then you're attacking again, so for another six, oh, three. Motherfucker. And then what's your spell? And then my spell, uh. Burp, burp, is wait no that's not the right level uh 3d10 wait why is this not lighting? wait what is it um go, my... to the, go to the normal version of it 3d10 all right click down uh she you clicked on the second level of halo thorns this no this is i did the first time by accident but this is the third level one it's 3d10 oh so you're casting at a higher level Yes, I'm class. Yeah, I don't have any second level spell slots left, so I need to cast it at third level. Oh, interesting. Jesus Christ. So now you're, then you add 60 10. <laughs> Does that. Six total? Yes. Because you're, you, what you're doing is you're good. blessing your attacks, right? So each time you attack, you're adding 3 D10 plus 2 D8. <laughs> All right, so it's 5 D8, 9 D6. I can't do uh, this, man. Uh, this uh, is sixty worst. ten. Okay, you're, you were saying why? You're asking why I've never done this before? Yeah. This is fucking dumb. I was like, I'm just doing nine damage. <laughs> Just this roll. They're fine. Uh, I literally <laughs> Fucking can. one shot. Plus, just. plus eight. I'm just gonna do it online. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do yeah, that. let's just find a fucking uh, thing. Oh we should God. set up roll twenty. Okay, so how? Ha- sorry, yeah. say- I was gonna email them today, but I couldn't find their email. Say address. it again for me, please. I'm dying. Uh, I'm it is three d eight. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is nine d six. Okay. And it is six d d ten. And then there's modifiers. And, on and then add an, uh, an extra two d eight. Because okay, of so Malora. five D eight. So five D eight. Oh, so it's 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 two for two D eights for attacking, two D eights for Melora, one D eight for crit, and then it's six D six for attacking, three D six for crit, and then we're not giving you the crit for the D tens, correct? Because I don't think so. Because there aren't enough dice in the world. Yeah, There's exactly. Not. Um, and then I get eight, <laughs> another eight on top of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool, 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 cool. And you cool. might, you know, I could see people arguing that you would get those, you know, D ten, but we're getting the D sixes, so we're kind of splitting the middle okay. and saying, "Fuck it, you're already rolling." How many dice are you rolling right now? Currently, like three. Uh, there. Oh, I have this. I don't want that. It's not right there. Um, uh, fifteen, twenty. 20. 20 dice. <laughs> 20 dice right now. Uh, oh. Christ. This is like, it. just FYI on this uh, wizards.com like dice roller thing, it defaults all of them to one? Yeah. Uh, uh, so I don't want to do that. I think you have to roll each individually. Oh, I see. Woo! I'm doing it! 
Oh my god, this Holy is so much damage. Shit. Oh my god, this is so much damage. I'm gonna... Okay, now I have to get my calculator out. <laughs> uh, because I've never done this da much damage before ever in my entire life. Holy shit. It's a good time to do it. It yeah. is. Uh, people in the chat uh, are How uh, does a 96 damage do? Shut up! Seriously? Is, is that damn. the most damage in Drunks and Dragons history? From Jennifer Cheek? <laughs> 96 damage! Bitch! Now that's a level 17. <laughs> now that's a level... The odds of uh, of any of that being 100% correct... It might not be, but it's definitely like in the vein. It's like, in the vein, It might yeah. actually be lower than it should be. Yeah, no, it's, anything, it's, it's, it's most likely lower than it should be. It is beautiful. Just you gotta describe what this looks like. Oh my it's god! I mean, Josel's not to dead. Thank, okay. Thankfully. <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's it's a halo. Okay. So it's a halo of thorns. So what happens is I say, "Eat my ass, ass. Josel Longshadow." <laughs> <laughs> the, the arrow. I do too quick back to back like. Like, pew, pew, like I do it so quick, like doom, doom, like you can hear the the bow, and uh, they explode into thorns, and it's just like so, like she just like kind of like turns like red, like immediately because it's hitting her just like so many places on her body, like zzz, like thorns. Do you get a bonus for attacking someone that hasn't been attacked or taken damage yet? No, it's the opposite. Opposite. It's gotcha. the opposite of that. Um, but let me double check. Let's, let's take a so quick, let's just make sure. Quick looky loo. See if we can add four damage somewhere. A uh, ranger can do. Um... Now you do no. see fear in her eyes after taking, <laughs> after taking this monstrous hit. And, it, and Toby yells from behind. Told you to give up. Oh, I'm invisible. <laughs> Don't worry, I can see you. Oh yeah, I assumed as much. Jesus Christ. Uh, Lonnie, try to follow, gotta follow that. <laughs> okay. I would like to move up right next to her. I'm going to use a key and I'm going to punch her five times. I know it is not going to be 100 points inspiring, but I hope that it will be riveting at least. <laughs> Great. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I I did roll an at 20. So <laughs> All right. Hold, all right. hold on to my my 2d8 or 2d10. I'm sorry. 2d10. Uh 18 hits, right? Or sorry, 19 hits. Uh, no one, no one said that. <laughs> Michael a 19 does that? Hit? Yeah, 19 hits. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this one will not hit. 18, does an 18 hit? An 18 hits. Okay, so I will have four attacks that hit. One is a crit. Twenty-three plus two is twenty-five. Twenty-five plus fifty. Fifty damage. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is. I was like, man, this is going to take a long time. Jennifer <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh. normally does about twenty points of damage on a good day. <laughs> now, um, everyone away. Now. Uh, Joe Sale is going to take a uh, legendary action at this point uh -huh. um, and is going to attack Lonnie because Lonnie is... Oh, actually, you know what? No. And instead, um, Joe Sale is going to take a legendary action um, and teleport and uh, is standing essentially between uh, Toby and, um, and Rowan. Ah! He's like, she's like, boop, right there. Um, hello, she says. Ah! 
and uh, what the hell? And then um, she is going to bash each of you once with her big hairy stick. No, so like, wait, she's wait. Like, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. What? What did you? What did you say? Hairy stick? What did you say to me? <laughs> I mean, it's a bit. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a cudgelly looking thing. With hair? I, it doesn't actually have hair. I was being um, okay. fanciful. Okay. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. How dare you? Uh, it goes right through me. Wait, what was? Goes what did you? I, I'm still. You? I'm still a little bit high from how many uh, damages <laughs> I just did. So, so I was. <laughs> I'm, I'm distracted. What? Did, what? What happens to me? Uh, does a 20 hit your armor class? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, um, you're gonna take, uh, 16 damage, bludgeoning damage, and 13 necrotic damage, no. I guess from the hair. No! Uh, I use, uh, illusory self, so as she swings through, a fake Toby disappears as Toby is hanging, like, upside down, like C-3PO, like, <laughs> or Han Solo, or whatever. No. Now- about to be... Cook. Does that work if against true sight? No. Because she has true sight. I feel like it, if she had it, true, it sight, nothing, true sight, it, it makes nothing uh, against it. It, auto, it automatically fails. What's up? It says once per short rest, you, you create an illusory duplicate of yourself. When a creature makes an attack roll against you, you can use a reaction to interpose a duplicate between the attacker and yourself. The attack automatically misses you. Then the illusion dissipates. Hmm. Hmm. Get Jeremy Crawford in here. <laughs> I mean, you're the DM. Is it called? I respect you, but you know. Smithy, what is it called? Uh, illusory Self from the Player's <laughs> Handbook 118. It's the Illusion Wizard, blah, blah, blah. Uh, bur, 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 bur. Mm, no, no, no. Mm. True Sight beats Alter Self and Mind Blank. That's not helpful. Um, all right, I uh, I cannot uh, find a uh, anything that says that it that doesn't work. So, because I think uh, the, you know, swings right through you. I think the logic is that um, in battle things are constantly shifting, constantly moving, and uh, mm. illusion. In this instance, I use like just a brief moment to kind of like slightly confuse the thing. So even you know. It, you could argue that she's like no, she sees me move, but she's already on her way to like attack me or something. I don't know, but I could I could see mm. they're working to to be sure. It works. It works. Woo! Oh my god! And don't touch me. With and that it thing. is to- and it is Toby's turn. Oh, cool. Uh, uh. And then I just raise a finger at her and just say, "You should have, you should have stopped." And I cast um, Finger of Death. And she needs to make a constitution saving throw, my friend. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what she gets. Um, she rolls a 12. Does she have any pluses? Or, uh, I mean, if she has a plus 8 con, I'm going to freak out. I guess that's possible. I have a plus 8 wisdom. Oh, do I? Nope. Okay. Uh, so she's going to take 7d8. Um, she chooses to yeah. not. As soon fail. as I was. As soon as I did that, I was like, she has legendary actions. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair, bro. Bro, that's fair. Um, that's totally fair. I should have used Toby's vast intellect to not cast a, a, a save. <sighs> <laughs> B word. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm sorry. No, no, you did. You did the right thing. I love you. Um, can you do anything else? Um, no. Um, no. Okay. I don't think so. Because I don't think I'm. Uh, I, don't, would... I don't think I'm legally allowed to cast Misty Step. Because I cast a spell above first level. Fair. 
So, like, if I cast a cantrip, like, we never follow this rule, but I'd like to at least know when I'm breaking it. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, you're not allowed to cast two spells above first level in a turn, unless you're a sorcerer. Oh, really? Sorcerers going to have to use, spend some energy to do it, but... Interesting. Uh, so Scud is up. Or they can't do it. <laughs> Sounds like it says Grappler. <laughs> Scud creeps around the corner. <laughs> like, what's happening in here? Oh. What should what Scud, should do? Scud do? She's too powerful. I hate her. We, I, we gotta we gotta use up some of his higher level shit. Yeah, what's he got? We can cast him at ninth level. Yeah, shit. Why not? Get fucking dumb. Um. Vampiric Touch has 96. Ooh, ooh, Prayer of Healing is 98, but it's good. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> um, Ray of Sickness is 10d8. Life Transference is 10d8. Oh, that's different. That's not what I want. Ray of Sickness is... That, that seems good, right? That seems great. <laughs> oh, wait, Chromatic Orb is 11d8, and it's an attack. What? Get that. Yeah. Do that. Do that. <laughs> Chromatic orb. So, Michael, is it? Can we allow Scud to cast chromatic orb for some reason? You at, certainly can. At ninth level. Absolutely. We can what kind of damage? Yeah, Michael. What's a good damage? She's gonna cast counter spell. No. Well, <laughs> that's allowed. That is allowed. But he's casting it at ninth level, so she has to roll for it, okay. or she's really good, which is fine too. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, uh, fourth level higher, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. Uh, the DC equals 10 plus the level spell. So that's a 19. 19. 19. So she needs to roll a 19 or and higher? Ooh, well, yeah. And it's, well, with her with it, with, spell casting. Right, right, right. Um, which is pretty good. No, <laughs> no, it's impossible. And this isn't a saving throw, so she can't just choose to not. Correct, because we, we chose to attack her. Um, um unfortunately, uh, she rolled a thirty-two. No! <laughs> fair, fair, Damn. Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> Uh, all right, Rowan, you're up, but you've got a Joe sale well, within five feet of you. I, I feel like I just ran out of everything I was going to do in this episode. And oh, actually, turned. actually, before that, um, she's going to take a legendary action and she's going to hit Rowan again. What the fuck? Stop. My HP started to go down. <laughs> FYI. And that is going to be a 31 versus AC. Wow, yeah, that will absolutely do it. <laughs> Joe Sale. All right, so that's going to be a total of 29 damage. Uh, wait, hold on. Go into my ranger thing. Um, I have a thing called evasion. This is when you are subjected to an effect such as a red dragon's fiery breath or a lightning bolt spell that allows you to make a dex... Oh. That allows you to make a dex nope. saving throw. So that's not it. How did she get a... Mm -mm. How did she get so high in her save? <sighs> how much damage did you say again? 29? What was it? 29. Because you only add her spell casting ability. So Ouch. I would only add 6 to mine. With a oh, 23. Maybe I did it wrong. Sounds like you rolled mm -hmm. really high, but I did roll really high. Um, you probably only you only add her int or whiz or cha whatever she is, not her attack, her spell attack. So it's just plus. Got it. All right, I fucked it up. God. Let me make sure. <laughs> I was like, that, that's a, unless she has a forty-five. Like, um, she rolled a. So she has to roll uh, twenty. I, she rolled a twenty-five. That still will absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, got, that gets me. My AC is not like that high. No, no, no. For the this is a back one. Oh, sorry. One turn. Don't roll so high. I did. I usually roll real bad, but that time I rolled good. <laughs> hey, we've been rolling good, so it's only fair that you get two too. 
I'm gonna make you guys a little nervous. Never. I am nervous. Because I just did a lot of b bad things to this woman, and now I'm in front of her like, hi. <laughs> like right here. <laughs> and I'm very upset right now because I can't cast silence uh, on her because I've used up all my second level spell slots. Third and, I can't, level. and I can't. No, I don't think you can. I don't think it works like that. You can. You can? Yeah. You can try it up or whatever. Huh. I mean, I don't know if that will be helpful for this. Because it can help with spells. Like, you can keep someone from casting spells that have the verbal verbal component. But I don't even know if that's what she's doing. <laughs> she hasn't know. done that other than counterspell. But counterspell does not have a verbal component. So. So maybe it doesn't make sense to even try that. No. Uh, well, hmm, okay, um, just trying to think what to do. And I'm, like, right up, she's, like, right up on me, or I'm yeah. still back. Yeah, she's right up on you. Um, okay, um, and if I, like, right I'm sorry. I'm still. My brain is still forty. If I run back, I don't get. Do I get the opportunity pack if I like move back from her? Yes, I do. Mhm. Mm yeah, you have to like use. You can disengage. So that's like an action. So then you wouldn't be able to use your attack. Okay. Um. Hit points you have. Well, how bad could it be? How bad could it be? How bad could it be? I could also cast Wind Wall. <laughs> There you go. It's time for Wind Wall. I'm going to do that. I mean, how many legendary saves could she possibly have? Let's burn them out. Yeah. I, say, I mean, I say. I'm running out of spell slots over here, but it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to cast Wind Wall, I guess, to like entrap her in a Wind Wall. Um, yeah. Let's, let's, three, let's, let's do it. Um, she has to do a strict save. A strength save. I like that we stopped telling the DCs because, like, this guy, man, he's. I, I want to make him <laughs> sweat for a second. Make him, make him sweat. Make sure he's having fun. Um, this die is good. No! Uh, <laughs> that is a 24. Get out of here! Get out of town. <laughs> Are you shooting me? The chat would like you to use your rapier. Uh, your dancing rapier. Yes, I can do that also. Um,. Well, shit. <laughs> so that's a, a a nice little waste of a wind wall. I don't think it does anything if it misses. Oh no, uh, no, it still does. It takes half as much damage on. Wait, a creature takes three d eight bludgeoning damage on a failed save. Or oh yeah, so I she still takes three d eight or half of it. Three d eight round of damage. Yeah. yeah. There's all those d eights I was using earlier. Um, that, so 16, so 8. 8 damage. 8 bludgeoning damage. That's not nothing. It's something, and now I'm going to use my rapier. Because I get another attack. Yeah. I think that's just a bonus, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? I think so. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Um. Yeah, because you basically, like, throw your, throw it out. And when you cast, it's kind of like spiritual weapon, I think, where the first time you cast it, you attack with it, and then going forward, you use your bonus. Uh, so you couldn't even done it last turn. Th that would have been entirely too much going on for me. Uh, <laughs> well, no, so you, would, you didn't have enough actions to do it. So. Right, right. Uh, so 23. That's. Woo! And. Okay, so. D do a juicy 1d8 plus 4 of damage. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, uh, that's a five. <laughs> what Jennifer, that's the worst she could afford. What's Jennifer? So you do technically have another attack. I have another. Oh, I guess I can just do Daisy Rapier again, right? Because I can't do it. Uh, no. I guess you could, can you trade in a, uh, an action for a bonus? No. So you can stab her. You might, you must have a sword or something, right? I can't. I'm too close. Is it you, you can do, you can do it with disadvantage? Okay, yeah. it, then okay. In that case, I do. I want to use my oath bow with disadvantage then, because then okay, I still do get it. a whole bunch of shit. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, twenty four. There you go. Jesus, yeah, that hits. Nice job. Oh, you're using my die. Jesus. Um, 
So oh, spin I out, Catter. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What is it? Two D eight, or one D eight? One D eight and then three D six. Three D six plus four. Oh my God! It's not that bad, I guess, but it could be better for sure. Um, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-four. Dang. Not so bad. That was not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. I am running Lonnie. out of spell slots and also HP. So, how long does the um, thorn thing last on your bow? Uh, I think it's just that time. Cool. Pretty sure. Let me double check though. Um, Lonnie, you're up. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, okay, I Josiel is still alive. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I <would> Damn like... it. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to try and um kick kick punch her to death. I think that this is just going to be a um amongst flurry of blows. There will be legs everywhere, fists everywhere. She has tried to kill my dearest friend mm -hmm. Rowan. I don't appreciate it. We're done. And, and we're done here. And your wind wall is still <laughs> going, right? I, but it, yeah, I guess it is still going. Yeah. Hmm. Does a tw tw 17 yes. hit? No. Okay. 17 does not hit. Damn. Okay. 17. I only have two hits that will hit this time. What? Yeah, uh, one is going to be a 28 and one is a 26. That hit. Those both hit. Okay. 20 damage. Nice. Nice. Slowly chipping away. Um, she, we'll get uh, there. Quickly and then more slowly. Yeah. <laughs> you land two blows, and um, and she looks like she starts to fall over, um, but then her eyes flash red again, Damn and it. some uh, some strength seems to return to her body, <sighs> and uh, and uh, and you actually see one of the bruises in her face slowly fade away. What? what? And, no. She's and regenerating, and uh, she's gonna try to hit. Lonnie twice, which is a bad idea, but <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't know that. She has the bloodthirst. Yeah. Has she read her files? The first one is a twenty two I... versus AC. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna spend a key point. You got to. <laughs> I can do this and I can uh I think it gives you disadvantage. Because I didn't take the cloak you hated, I just took an ability that gave me the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have so many things. Playing 17 there's level of character sucks. Yeah, there's so many things that a monk can do, and I do I do not do half of them. Uh I do have dark vision. I know we talked about that an hour ago. Okay, I know that this is a thing, though, that uh, I can use it to dodge. Um, the actual... Is it actually called dodge? Oh, I guess I'm looking it up real fast. <laughs> There is a dodge action, There's... but sometimes you have to spend a key point to like do it on your turn. But that might not be this one. Who knows? Yeah, I know that... Oh, that's a different dodge. I know that there is a dodge that you can do that it basically makes them roll disadvantage. Stop. Go away. Go away. Stop it. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. Just just try to hit me. It's fine, Michael. <laughs> Just do what you will. <laughs> hit me as hard as you can. A twenty-two. Uh, that will that will meet and beat, I suppose. 
Oh boy. Uh, that's the old me I know. Uh, how about a 15? That's fine. I guess you get hit once. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, 16 bludgeoning and 13 necrotic for 29. Wait, yeah. no, why did you add? Why did you ask? Accident- I feel like you did one amount of damage and then you're like, okay, take another. That's too much. <laughs> Well, it's important that the types types are important. (laughs) Well, I okay. Well, maybe now you need disadvantage. So roll again and take the lower amount. I was being nice. (laughs) (laughs) See, Michael, that's what you get for being me. I was trying to save time, and you just fucked me right over for it. (laughs) Damn, Michael, it's rude. Okay, how about it's just twenty nine bludgeoning? Does that make you feel better? You're the worst. You're the worst, Michael. Uh, Michael. Let's move on to Toby. What do you say? What up? So in front of me, there is a wall of wind kicking up grit around. I cannot move through it because I'm small. (laughs) Um, I can put it down. (laughs) Okay. Because I'm not going to try to get uh, in front of her. Um, Does that legally allow me to move away, Michael, you think? Or will I get punched? What do you think? Uh, you could probably you could move legally away. All right, I move legally away. I fly up into the air a little bit um, to get off the ground. Uh, let's say twenty feet away. Fuck it, and then twenty feet back. You know, just be nasty. Um, and then I am going to <sighs> golly beans. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, but that'll hit you. I was gonna cast a uh, fireball at. You gotta cast level. Bigby's hand because it's called Bigby's hand. Get handed. <laughs> um, so I guess I I'm just trying to. Th- I'm, what I'm struggling with, friends, is do I make her burn another legendary thing, or do I um, try to. Uh, just do some damage. Try to poke her. I'll just try to poke her. Let's be, not be crazy. Um, I'm going to do a spell attack. I'm going to just do a normal can trip. And... Uh, uh, does a 28 hit her AC? You know it. Thanks, brother. Uh, and she takes 4d10 damages. Oh, woo. Nice. Epic. Too many. Ladies love it. Um, 7, 6... <laughs> 13 plus 11. So she takes 24 fire damage. Hachi machi. Hachi machi. And it hurts her to feel such a thing. <laughs> um, yes, it does. Like, she doesn't like it, I assume, right? She hates it. Oh, okay. That's she cool. hates it a lot. Awesome. She's actually reeling. Um, she, she's staggering around. And uh, and she looks like she's in pretty bad shape. And uh, everyone's favorite Scud is up next. Yeah! <laughs> Should we just have Scud heal ruin? <laughs> right. Or, Lonnie, what's your hit points? 90. Or, like, what are you missing? Six. Fine. Uh, I'm 40% down. Okay. So, how about he just gets like, hit points? Decent. Yeah, why don't we just do. A prayer of healing or something. Yeah, let's do, let's do a little round. Sure. Because I'm currently 58 out of 157. Sure. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's Jesus. Get, let's yeah. get a uh, prayer of healing at fourth level. You know, sorry, Bachman, if this is not the most efficient way. Um, uh, all of us get to, um, uh, heal ourselves for 4d8 plus. His plus two. two? Yeah. All right. So four D eight plus two. Chat says it takes ten minutes. Wait. Yeah. What are we I doing? Was just yeah. At two. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Why does that happen? All right. So, <laughs> but so you're saying it's impossible to, um, just have a quick Thank ten minutes you. in the middle of a battle. You're saying it doesn't make sense. Wait, Michael. One moment. We're all invisible here, right? So <laughs> you are invisible. Here. You definitely can see you. 
Um, but you're you're definitely invisible as well. How about he just does cure runes just on um, Rowan? Heal me up. That seems good. Okay, heal me. So it's the same, but only you get a roll. Um, so four d eight. Should we each? Should we each roll a d eight? I would love to. Sure. I got a one. <laughs> Michael, kidding. I got a three. Jennifer I got said... a two. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I got an eight. <gasps> Damn, Michael. Oh, wait, that does not seem. Oh, just just roll one d eight. We're all rolling. Okay. Eight. Oh, I see. I understand. Uh, I got a three. I wasn't listening to you guys, so. So. Three, six, eight. Six plus eight, fourteen, two, sixteen healing hit points. Sixteen hit points. Nice. <laughs> I'll take it. And Rowan, you're up. Oh boy. Wait, I think is that a bonus? No, that's an action. What's the bonus action? What is a bonus action? You know what I'm saying? Should he also cast spiritual weapon? Yeah. Fuck it, right? Let's just let's just let let's just Why let not? Go. All right, Rowan, you go. So no, let let Scud go. <laughs> spiritual <laughs> weapon as a bonus his, action. His full summons... turn, Michael. <laughs> I don't remember what his spiritual weapon even looks like. <laughs> I don't. I don't want Scud to get all the glory. He's not yeah, here. let oh. me do it. Okay, so I, I just want to. I did scream very loud. Uh, I just want to clarify that my wind wall was not a complete circle around Joe There was a little opening so that I could shoot my arrows through earlier. Oh, so, yeah, naturally. Uh, well, of course. Of so. course. We assumed. That's, I, I'm not a cheater, and that's how that works. Yeah. Um, so it is once again time to cast, uh, to, to shoot with my beloved oath bow. Uh -huh. I don't even care if it's a disadvantage. I don't give a shit. I'm going to do it two times, and we'll see what happens. Tim, where's that, that good D20? There it is. I want that one. I'll touch it. <laughs> it's too late. I'm touching it. <laughs> Disadvantage. So I know, but again. still. Okay, I, I'll roll a twenty on one of them. Um, Twenty-six. That hits. Yeah. Uh, and let me. Would you roll damage on that? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. You got it, buddy. Uh, one d eight and three d six. What does it look like when you kill <laughs> Joseph? <laughs> yeah, Ooh, buddy. Um, yeah, I shoot. Let's say that she's like staggering around, like, Bleh, and her mouth rolls open, and I shoot the arrow, and it goes right in her throat, like inside. Uh, of her mouth. right in the roof of her mouth. Yep, Ugh. right in yeah. her uvula. She goes, That's she goes, graphic. Oh, I conquered two gods, and then she falls over dead. And I wipe and, my hands. Nice. I'm, I'm and, real glad you did that, Jennifer, because I didn't want to figure out how to grapple. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, I think we're going to have to figure out the fallout of all of this uh, next time. <gasps> what an There F. are two incapacitated gods in the background. Wow. Michael, did and we do... Good, bad, or average based on how you expected this episode. I in. expected it to not I expected you not to do a hundred and fifty damage in the first turn. <laughs> <laughs> that I was not expecting. Did you okay, that's fair. That's the thing. Uh, you so you did really I think you did well. If you do really bad a lot and then you do good, people are like, Oh my well, god, shit. that's yeah. awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> You were laying in wait the whole time. I was. I've just been. I've been holding back for your sakes, That's for nice. this moment. That's fucking nice. <laughs> From this uh, moment. So this is like a. This is like a first fifteen episodes kind of length. So we should probably. I mean, it's gonna get edited down. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it's long. Really long. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All the. Maps. I just took a peek at it, and it's like an hour and forty-five already. So. Yeah. Uh, so well, we should let's probably do some feedback because we, we're from you. October I love them. Yeah. Can I um, say uh fan to friend, I love feedback. Reviews are mm -hmm. great. Uh I hate feedback actually. It <laughs> sucks and it's never good unless it's really good, what? but most people have bad feedback cuz they want to to prove this. Yeah, I like reviews. 
Uh, I like people to give us say nice things. Good Five stars reviews. reviews from Crubs. Hi, Poppy! Keep on blasting those hot D and D podcast cummies into all my gaping ear holes. Oh no! Who job, said that? Uh, someone named Crubs. Uh, filthy, disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, Dijon mustard is the worst. From <laughs> I disagree. That's a lie. Like Wonderful, funny, and a great pick me up. I've been listening for almost two years, and this podcast only gets better. The players have such great chemistry and come with amazing characters. Thank you. Uh, Fern Sorel Cedar, great podcast, zany and fun. Great podcast. Finally caught up after four months of binge listening at work. I started listening to this podcast for inspiration to start to run my very own D and D game. Thank you. Just in Time 93 says, Favorite podcast of all time. Found you guys when Nook was sucked into the void by tentacle monsters. Decided to listen from the beginning. Actually got to get my friends to start our own D&D campaign. Love listening to y'all. Thank you. Kyle777777 from New Zealand says, OMG, all caught up. Been listening to this podcast for about a year now. I'm going through my first year of university. This podcast has got me through a lot. I had it running in the background as I was doing some study of, of the year end exams coming up i just got to the end of episode 278 listened to the outro and was waiting for the next episode to start after a while i realized i was still sitting in silence got on my phone to see what was going on and was shocked to see i was all caught up thank you much oh my god that dog <coughs> taylor 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 says greatest D podcast of them all it's been over a year since I've been listening from episode one, and I've never been more entertained by a podcast. Drunks and Dragons taught me that D&D is about using the rules to have fun, not about attempting to have fun following the rules. Thank you. Uh, Dynax from uh, Dynax uh, uh, 8 says, JT Brown 8152 okay? This is my... First of many reviews that I leave <laughs> from someone else's laptop to make up for my procrastination <laughs> on leaving a review. You are truly a hero. Uh, listen to this podcast. It's the best. Tim's a good baby and everyone loves him. Uh, Canucks Yuska. A great time well spent. Good night, chap. I get it. I've been listening to this podcast for years and I'm just finally leaving a review. My wife and I made it out of KikiliCon 2017. Had a wonderful time. I was that kind of nervous guy who came up to Nika and Michael right before they went on stage for the live show <laughs> and had them sign a 4EPHB. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I literally I'll do it anytime it come up to me talk to me whenever please please nate m7 says amazing podcast good day mates good day mates from a canadian <laughs> in australia i've been uh lis- i've been binging this amazing podcast for two months and i'm up to episode 209 from one as i write this you guys never fail to put a smile on my face and have got me through some tough times recently uh, thank you so much. Hobbit Shark says, "Great, despite uh, the cringe I get as a vet D and D player." Uh, you gotta get over gotta it. Get over it. Overall, this podcast Thanks, inspired bud. me to include new story arc and D and D campaign. My group plays every other week. It's been together for ten years. Thirsty, I feel your pain as a GM. When the answer <laughs> seems so obvious, yet the players never get it. Um, you know, we're smart though. As Varda says, mm-hmm. "Rules go very smart." <laughs> hey everyone, this is my first review of y'all. I'm on my first review. I love it. I'm gonna give you more of the one review, but I'm on episode 118. So per Thrifty's request, Rose Gold, love you guys. <laughs> I've never listened to a podcast before this one. Oh. I'm completely hooked. Uh, Trickshaw says, "Great entertainment. <laughs> this cast has developed great chemistry and comedic chops over the years. The library of content they've developed may seem daunting. It took me a year to catch up, but if you just want to dive into the latest episode, you'll be fine and entertained. Give it a try, and don't forget to rate and review." Mandarin the Knoll from France says, Viva la Burus et Dragons. I came here all the way from Paris, France to tell everyone they have to listen to this awesome comedic adventure played by genuinely friendly et funny geeks. Also, hello to the crew. A shout out from the past. I just started listening. I'm currently following the Battle of the, o- o- uh, 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 the Battle Over the Abyss, episode 150. I hope you still find it useful to, to have reviews on iTunes. Thank you so yeah. much, everyone. That, um... Of a French review. I can't remember the last time we got one of those, but damn, maybe the first one. I don't know. Shit. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, it helps us so much. Remember, January twenty fourth is the international. When does this episode come out? Probably oh, January like twenty first. Yeah. No shit. This week. No, it comes out. This episode comes out the twenty eighth. All right. Nuh-uh. Oh, because we're doing, we're one ahead. All right. So you've already missed. So we'll have to cut that part from the beginning. Put it. Yeah. In well, we're going to have to do some surgery. Oh, yeah. Sorry. But whatever. Twitch heard it. It's fine. 
Yeah, thank you so yeah. much for all the views, everyone. It, it means so much to us, and especially after we're past uh, official Drunks and Dragons review international day tell a friend but you know what i i've just got word now that we're extending the holiday all year long 2019 <laughs> is the year of reviewing the podcast if you have not until your friends that is true that is absolutely true um thank you guys uh, thank you everyone uh if you want to get in touch with us we're on twitter we're at dnd podcast or at geekly inc i'm at thrifty nerd i'm at tim lanning i'm at jennifer cheek I'm at Nika underscore Howard. <laughs> you can do it. Ah, Follow the my okay. Wait, can I can I please ask you? Um, can I record the quet- the the credits the at a later date, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very drunk right now and I can't say <laughs> oh, oh, this is it. a I this mean, is a whole new world. Yeah, it the fucking paces, baby. Yeah, I, think I it's fine. It's absolutely. Yeah. I'll I'll do it. I'm responsible. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can totally do it later. That's easy. To yeah. I even I even wrote so down fast. the goof. I I wrote down the goof for episode two ninety nine and episode two ninety nine point five. So there will be go. different Indians. Right. I just I cannot make those words That's form fair. with my mouth. Right now. I just got like fine. very hungry personally. So yeah, I'm hungry my too. eye won't stop twitching. What talk about? <laughs> Don't tip me. Yes. I love Taco it's Bell. It's gay as hell. <laughs> they, they send they send Taco Bell to our door now. They, we can get Postmates. That's Taco Bell. dangerous. I yeah, I can do Grubhub and like bless uh bless Postmates or whatever it is you have yeah. and Grubhub. They bring didn't Taco, bring Bell Taco Bell to our door. Last time though, which made me upset. Assholes. Yeah. All right, should we stop? Um, Hold on. Pause. Recording? Pause for one second. Pause for one second. Um. Thanks, everybody. Uh, until next time, keep it dicey. Oh. <laughs> what? Do we need to record a second can. intro and outro? We didn't do an outro for the last one, but I think it's fine. Because it'll just be like, someone could should kind of be like, and we're ending it there. Or like, do, or like do do Michael, know? are you still recording? I feel as yeah, though. Wait. Uh, Michael, how about you back? say like something like, and find out what happens next time? Well, he should just do that in a separate file. That'll be... Instead of putting it at the end of the second one, that seems crazy. Well, we already have some stuff from this one. Yeah, I guess. All right, we're going to stop there. Find out next time what happens on the Drunks and Dragons podcast. Ooh. Nice. Is that, do, do you want stop to say something an, different? Stop at export? No, perfect. Yeah. Stop Wait, an stop an export. Export. Um, yeah. I said earlier, I forget why. Oh, because of Lonnie's new boots. We were talking about toe rings, and I wanted to tell a story yes, about Yes, please tell us about toe rings. Uh, Remember, it's 299.5. We went to the Renaissance Fair back in the fall, oh, yes. and the Renaissance Fair is a weird place, obviously. Mm-hmm. I was very much not prepared for, you know how, like, at the Renaissance Fair, like, the people will, like, sing, like, when they're advertising things sometimes? I was yeah. not prepared for the lady going, toe rings! Get your toe rings. Like singing it out loud. I'm like, what the fuck is happening right now? This is a Renaissance fair. I do not think they had toe rings in the in the Renaissance fair. Did because... you guys did you go with like a bunch of people? Yeah. yeah. How was it? Was, it was that great. super fun? Because I want to do that. It was fun, but also like not... dirty. It was gross. <laughs> okay. No, wait. Oh, Can yeah. I tell you, though, if you are going to go to a Renaissance festival, do not go sober because it is the most horrific, cursed experience that you could have sober. Drank, if like, you go <laughs> fucked up and you talk to every store person like they are a D&D a, clerk, you will have the best goddamn time. <laughs> that seems more fun Yeah, to me. Go to Jennifer. Gun, Jeff. Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we drank a lot, but not that much because the beers were expensive. They were so and expensive. Not every tent ha- did any of the tents have liquor. Well, you had to have like weird like tickets. Like you couldn't just pay with no, money. No. You had to like buy tickets and then give them. I want to go to like a really I... trashy one though. Like you I didn't will tell drink you, drink a gallon of mead. No, go. I drink so here's mead. the thing. I I say I think I said this before, but if anyone wants to, you're more than welcome. 
to go to the Kansas City one, and I will meet you there, and I will be unsober, <laughs> and I will hang out with you all day, and I will go Nika, watch jousting. She, I, the, she, you, we're still streaming, and you're telling yeah. dozens of people <laughs> that for all of them, you will go to this thing, and you it's like, all no, right, I will. Tuesday, Nika, bitch, because, get here. <laughs> because I, I, I don't tell a lie. I am like George Washington and Abe Lincoln, our favorite presidents. Um, if you if you come to one or if you say, I want to go to a r- r- Renaissance festival, please meet me. Fuck, I'll find a way. I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> we should and do a tour. Go. We'll do yours and we'll do mine. And, yes! Uh, I want to have a weekly meetup at the Boston one pretty badly. We'll do all three. Be great. Let's make that a Patreon tier, please. Can we just do one that is like us getting together and playing a game? Yeah. Five thousand dollars a month. Well, beans. well, I have to piss out. Yeah, I need, a, I need a snack. So I'm gonna turn the stream yeah. off. Um okay. so Bye, stream. one in Good Streamland. Night. Uh it was it was such a great time. Sometimes Super fun. The Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank go. you, Jennifer. Thank you, Michael, yeah, for running. Thank you, Michael, you for being a DM. You didn't have to do that, but you, you, but you did. Real. Uh, hopefully, Bachman is well soon. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.